Humans have consumed a significant quantity of traditional fossil fuel energy during the last 200 years. Yet a significant issue has resulted from this. Many air pollutants have been generated as a result of the combustion of fossil fuels, adversely contaminating human habitat. Countries all around the world are continuously seeking for innovative methods to use energy to address this issue. The remarkable new technology, which is a rare one that can use air to create power for the mature use of this technology, was formally unveiled by China in 2022. China has been doing excellent research for about 18 years. China's energy utilization has altered as a result of this technology. Compressed air energy storage and power generation comprise this revolutionary technology. This is the procedure. The electric energy compressor is used to compress the air into a gas storage well when the power system is experiencing a low period and the extra electric energy is transformed into air energy. This technique may also be used in other restricted areas, such as storage tanks, abandoned mines, tunnels, submarines, and caves. When the power system requires energy, the air that has been held is released, creating a high pressure that drives a steam turbine to produce electricity. Similar to utilizing a steam engine to power a generator to produce electricity, compressed air energy storage functions similarly. Although compressed air energy storage is a fairly straightforward operating principle, it took China 18 years to continuously and completely enhance it. China has suggested a strategy to attain the carbon peak of carbon dioxide emissions in 2035 and to achieve carbon neutrality in 2060 in response to the Paris Agreement's development goals. China will thus spend 760 million USD in the development of subterranean compressed air energy storage power plants in 2020 after this innovative technology has reached its maturity. What use does this air energy storage power plant serve then? This subterranean compressed air energy storage device was built after more than two years of work. The 300 megawatt air energy storage power plant is the first of its kind in the world. It will also grow to be the biggest compressed air energy storage power station in the world at that time. The subterranean air energy storage power station's potential yearly power output is 500 million kilowatt hours, according to engineers. 60,000 kilowatt hours are generated on average every hour, and 60,000 people might utilize that much electricity for one day in the future after five hours of nonstop production. This air energy storage power station will offer electricity to 180,000 homes. It would take 49,800 tons of fossil fuel to produce such a large amount of electric energy using the conventional thermal power generation method. The power production efficiency of an air power station has achieved 70% in the field of compressed air energy storage power generation. As a result, it now has the greatest standalone power of any air power station in the world. New challenges have evolved in the use of renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power, as their growth continues. When there is a decrease in the amount of power used, the manner of wind power generating is likely to create extra electricity. As a result, when the weather is severe, the load on the power grid increases and the additional electricity cannot be used. Solar power generation has a very low efficiency, which leads to an inadequate supply of electricity. Nevertheless, the power generation cycle of the air energy storage power station may be modified constantly with variations in electricity demand compared with wind power and solar power. The grid can operate more safely when air energy storage power plants are used. More crucially, since air is compressed during the process of producing electricity from compressed air energy storage, traditional fossil fuels are no longer required for burning. The air will produce a significant amount of heat energy, and the steam turbine may effectively be driven by the air's high pressure and temperature. No fossil fuels are used during this procedure. As a result, compressed air energy storage power generation won't pollute the climate through emissions. Compressed air energy storage power plants also have significant benefits in terms of cost, complexity, and construction. Typically, it costs 1 to 1.5 billion to build a hydroelectric power plant with an installed capacity of 2 million kilowatts. Construction of an air energy storage power station of the same size only cost between 600 million US dollars and 900 million US dollars due to the fact that the cost of an air energy storage power station will reduce as the installed capacity grows. 
The hydroelectric power plant, on the other hand, has to be built near a river or a sizable reservoir. The complexity of building projects is substantially reduced by compressed air energy storage, which may also be used to store energy in abandoned mines, caverns, and other structures in addition to gas storage tanks. Hence, the building pace of air energy storage power stations is faster than that of hydroelectric power stations. Only one of the 40 million cubic meters of salt caverns in Shenghubei, China, which number over 170, was used for building, according to the assessment. What future air energy storage power plant, out of the 3 billion, exists? These caverns will continue to be developed by the Chinese engineering team. As a result, China has a vast growth potential for air energy storage power plants. In actuality, China did not invent the technique for compressed air energy storage. Stahl Level first suggested the technical path of compressed air energy storage in 1949. Studies are being carried out by scientists in virtually every part of the world. In 1978, Germany saw the construction of the world's first commercial compressed air energy storage system. Nevertheless, the idea for such a device was conceived in Hunter Wharf in 1991. The United States of America is home to the world's second air energy storage power plant, which was completed in May 1991 and put into operation at that time. In 2001, Japan was also home to an operating facility for the storage of energy in the form of compressed air. In comparison to other nations, China had a somewhat late start on the development of energy storage systems based on compressed air. Since 2005, China has finally started to operate in the compressed air energy storage industry after having spent the previous 18 years developing its technological capabilities. Because there is such a large application market for compressed air energy storage technology in China, that country has just begun to use the technology in an official capacity. China will, in accordance with the growth strategy, continue to increase the amount of money it invests in the technical sector. Data suggests that China will construct 100 power plants capable of storing energy in the form of air. By the year 2022, China will have 19 projects for compressed air energy storage power stations that are now in the development stage, with a total installed capacity of 5.38 gigawatts. It is anticipated that China would have built air energy storage power plants with a combined capacity of 6.76 gigawatts by the year 2030. In China, power plants will be built with an installed capacity of more than 43 gigawatts for the storage of air-based energy. The operational efficiency of compressed air energy storage will continue to be increased in China, and the country plans to reach a maximum efficiency of 70% for power generation from compressed air energy storage. Moreover, the cost of storing energy in compressed air ranges from $150 to $180 in the United States per kilowatt. In addition, the cost will continue to fall in the years to come. China has been making significant efforts to protect the environment and one of its primary focuses has been on developing novel approaches to make use of renewable energy sources rather than traditional fossil fuels. A large percentage of China's deserts have also had hundreds of millions of trees planted in them, bringing the total amount of green space in China's deserts up to 5.7 million square kilometers. Many people have the belief that these events constitute miracles. Trees in these dry regions may not only slow the wind speed in the region, but they also have the potential to drastically cut carbon dioxide emissions. This is very necessary for China's plan to achieve carbon neutrality by the year 2060. China will make its own efforts while partnering with the rest of the world to sustain the Earth's ecology. Share your opinion in comments. Also, watch other videos about Most Shocking Project.